Hello, white people. There's absolutely no reason to stock up on cash amid the beer flu crisis, experts say. There is no reason to stock up on cash, experts say, despite consumers hoarding hard currency as the beer flu spreads through the United States. Across the country, consumers are pulling out cash at a greater than usual rate. There are stories of ATMs running out of bills, grocery stores restricting or ending cash back transactions, and reported cases of bank branches limiting transactions. But that's not evidence of a cash shortage. According to industry professionals, rather, it's likely just the individual location not holding surplus cash locally, be it at an ATM, bank branch, or grocery store. There is no cash shortage, said Paul Benda, an expert in bank risk and security at the American Bankers Association and a former Department of Homeland Security official. There are some local branches whose vaults, frankly, only hold so much cash, but the banks themselves are well capitalized and stable, he said. Little impact. The Federal Reserve, which distributes cash to banks through its Fed Cash service, said it has not experienced pronounced spikes in demand and has had no difficulty meeting demand for cash, according to a spokeswoman. A primal reaction to any global stress, some consumers prefer to withdraw large sums of cash when panicked in case of emergency. But that rationale is flawed, much like the rationale to stock up on toilet paper, as there has been no indication that the banking sector is in danger of major disruption from the beer flu or that credit card networks are going to change. Rather, we don't expect to see any impact at all on cash usage one way or the other, according to David Tent, an executive director at the ATM Industry Association. Neither Bank of America nor Wells Fargo, the two mega banks with a major presence in Charlotte, have restricted how much cash you can take out. Wells Fargo has not put in place any new limits on cash withdrawals. Spokeswoman Beth Reichak said, Wells Fargo has significant cash reserves and we are continuing our normal processes to meet our customers' cash needs. Truist, the Charlotte-based bank formed by the merger of BB&T and SunTrust, went so far as to waive ATM fees so that consumers could have easier access to cash with greater confidence. Bend a caution that taking out large sums of cash isn't a good idea. Deposits in banks are government-insured up to $250,000, and fat stacks of cash can make people a target for theft. Remote working. Banks across the country are taking measures to ensure that they keep operating safely and with as little disruption in the financial system as possible. Many, including Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and Truist, are expanding work-from-home programs for the jobs that can be done remotely. Like grocery stores and pharmacies, banks are generally considered essential services by officials, and there are detailed plans in place for how to handle pandemics. Federal regulators examine those plans as a part of the institution's broader business continuity strategy. Banks need to prepare for all the ways a pandemic can affect a financial institution, from the stress put on company networks from increased teleworking to maintaining core functions as more employees take time off according to federal guidance. As the beer flu spreads, those plans will be tested. A critical juncture is the branch. Bank branches involve a fair amount of person-to-person contact, and banks, for numerous reasons, are reluctant to close them. So preventative measures are being put in place to keep branches open. Truist, for example, has beefed up the cleaning of its thousands of branches, which still go under the names of BB&T or SunTrust. Others are distributing more hand sanitizer and gloves. Banks will consider going to drive through only service in heavily affected areas. Benda, the ABA official, said... And some have already implemented golden hours, which are designated times for vulnerable populations to visit bank branches. This is a war. We're in a war to contain this virus. Bank of America CEO Brian Moynihan said on CBS's Face the Nation on Sunday. It's always a good idea to have a whole bunch of cash in hand just in case the banks go under because you won't be able to get your money out. If you guys have been following me, you know that I do not trust the government and I do not trust the media. 
I have heard that some people are concerned that the banks won't give cash or that businesses won't accept cash because cash is considered dirty. You know, that's like a Hegelian dialectic trying to put these suggestions in our head that we don't need cash. Right now, it looks like the United States runs on about 30% cash, which surprised me because I thought a lot fewer people were using cash. Cash is king, and silver has dropped down to $12 an ounce. Yeah, can you believe that, $12 an ounce? Maybe it'll go down to $5 an ounce like it did, oh, what was that, 2009 or something like that? All right, white people, that's the damage for today. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to your thoughts below.